Welcome to the Raw Quiz Show, where nightmares really do come true. I am your host, Ryan Ashley Wall, and joining me tonight for this special, I'm not going to say spooktacular because that's just cheesy, is... But you said it anyway. <laughs> I know. Jack Cornwall. What's up? And Aaron Phelps. Thank you guys for joining me on this special Halloween-themed episode of the Raw Quiz Show. Uh, it's pretty much normal, except uh, there is a temporary new point type thrown in the mix called vampire points. And the way those work is you steal points from an opponent. So you take from somebody and gain for yourself. Like a Are vampire. these like sparkly vampires or real vampires? Real vampires. Okay, All right. just we're, making sure. We're playing the third <laughs> thing here. Like... Uh, None of these sissy vampires. Our first question of the night is a science question. Uh, let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. First, how many of Stephen King's eponymous dark towers does it take to reach the moon? There's my calculator. <laughs> I knew a guy who said it like that. He also said, yeah. Jack. What you got? I got uh, 2.1 million ish, 2101666. Yep. 6666666, all the way to seven. So you chose that on purpose to get all those sixes in there? No, but my <laughs> my literal answer written down was ballpark 2.1 million. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That is good. Let's go ahead and add those points for Jack. It is now a tie game. All no, right. there's a tie for the lead. It is not a tie game. You are losing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even mad. That's just true. <laughs> All right. <laughs> culture. Our next question is a culture question. Mary Shelley, author of Frankenstein, famously wrote the novel as part of a challenge between herself, her husband, and what other famous author for 10 sword points? Jack. Jack, what do you got? The challenge was to think of a horror story. That is not the question I asked. Yeah, it is. Asked... In response to a challenge? Oh, yep. Never mind. Um, Aaron? Aaron. Mary Godwin? Or wait, no, 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 no. Just is... kidding. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, that didn't also, count. Didn't count. Also, <laughs> I, I, uh, Jack, you're losing 10 points, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> the answer was Lord Byron. I uh, think y'all uh, realize that. I have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right i just read the wrong bolded part on my google yeah, search. <laughs> <under the things. laughs> yeah that's how that goes Sometimes i read the maiden name how do i lose points it was 10 sword points and i was the one you, you guys oh. both failed so yeah. whatever all right our next question <laughs> for 10 bow points a random question we're gonna play the prices i <laughs> And in this, is this case, a, we, is this a Halloween themed item? <laughs> yes, it, yes, it is, and and shockingly relevant to everything we've been talking about because we're gonna do a costume, mm -hmm. and this costume is by a company called Disguise. It is a Dwight Schrute costume <laughs> with accessories for adults, medium for ten bow points, and uh, if you guys want an image of what that looks like I will share we would with... love that yeah does it list the accessories uh it does not but i'm pretty i, I am pretty sure it is just uh our beats included yeah <laughs> I, i'm assuming it costs more than like how jim put this I, together i think it's the tie glasses the, the belt major. clip and the glasses yeah okay I'm pretty sure those are the accessories. I mean, you can do the whole thing at Goodwill for $7, including the calculator watch. <laughs> Good pull. <laughs> Good pull. All right. So, uh, Aaron, you're first on the scoreboard. So, how much do you think this thing costs? Um, I'll say $24.99. $24.99. Jack? So, you're just going to go with $25 since we don't really round up yeah, change? Yeah, we do. It's okay. <laughs> I'll take. Two. I'm just thinking of real Amazon prices. I know. <laughs> I was I was just on Amazon. I want to say it costs. I want to say it costs more than that. So I'm gonna go twenty six dollars. 
the actual retail value is $48.72. Wow. <laughs> the pretty expensive one. So <laughs> what? I know Multiple it's a, pieces. I mean, if it's the pants, the shirt, and the tie, I mean, that's probably gonna be more yeah. than 20 bucks. And from like a costume place, you know, yeah. they're upcharging all of that. That's true. Uh, Ten bow points. I assume I'm getting hit, but I don't know for sure. Yes, most most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't need to double check. You never know. Uh, all right. Our next question is a history question. Uh, popularly depicted as a humanoid with antlers, this mythological being from Great Lakes and Plains Native American folklore is known to cause a desire for cannibalism. Jack? Jack, what do you have? A Wendigo? That is correct. I was I was trying to guess between that or like if you were like going like Krampus style. <laughs> mm. Like it does sound has like Krampusy. Like it sounds very Krampus, but then when you're talking about like a Rick Krampusy, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Wendigo makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are like the illustrations of Wendigos are horrible. Now, what was that game? There was a game. Mm -hmm. Um now I can't even remember it. Hey, they look like something out of Doom, let's face it. It was like a place. Yeah, but it was like some like cabin game, all of those kids. It was some quick time game kind of thing, but hmm. it was pretty awesome. I'll have to remember. I'll remember it before we're done. <laughs> all right. And because it is Halloween, uh, I have to do the thing I am most afraid of in the Raw Quiz show. Uh, so we are going to play... Hangman. No, no. <laughs> We're not playing this game. I, I forfeit. I'm a forfeit to Aaron right now. <laughs> wow, this is bad. Yeah. Oh, that game's called Until Dawn, if you've ever played it. Oh, okay. That game, it, so can... it's pretty awesome. It's a older, I think it's PlayStation. Um, But it was... It was pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. So let's put the letters here. So Jack. wait a minute. How many words is that? One, two, three, four, five? One. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. Yes, that's correct. The second row is one word. It's yes. all I'm really trying it's, to make sure of. Yeah. Let, let me, uh, here's what I'll do. Boom. 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 That's uh. <laughs> we get it. You don't have to I'm just Look, waiting. I'm just waiting to watch you write these. <laughs> I, I it, I'm doing it for my That's benefit. <laughs> Jack, give me a letter to write a. to begin. Okay. A, no A's. No A's in five uh. words. Hey, that's that was almost a good circle. <laughs> so, what'd you say Aaron uh, I, I just said oh, that's not too bad it's okay yeah, that's why I said almost good uh, <laughs> almost good yeah okay um T Yeah, just remember what the thing was. I know. <laughs> Did you see him there for a Pause. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. E. I've done this wrong so many times. I'm terrified. <laughs> yeah, the first time we played this, he screwed up the spelling. <laughs> it was bad. I hate this game so much. All right, Aaron. <laughs> I mean, you could go the easy route and just finish yeah, off. She's going with the H. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See if there's any more H's that come mm. up, and maybe not. Okay. Nope. I. No eyes. You can see my strategy. I'm just hitting all the bells first. <laughs> yeah. 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 Actually, that's. Um. Okay. 
I will follow suit because that's also my start. Oh. There's gotta be at least there's gotta be at least one in that word right there. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. That's it. That's it. In. in. Okay. No ends. No. So Aaron. Um, let's see. Uh, do I want to give an easy route or? I mean, you could. <laughs> <laughs> okay, F. There it is. One. I guess the point, the overall point, is to not get a full. Um, okay. <laughs> Go with R. Like on family. Good. Yeah, yeah, good answer. <laughs> good, answer. good answer. I love when they do that and it, it only has like one answer on the survey. Yeah. Or it's not even up there. Yeah. But, uh, but pull eight, are you sipping? How have we been through all the vowels? Well, not all of them yet, but there's uh, still a five-letter word with no letters on it. <laughs> you? Yes, two U's. Two U's. I mean, the next logical letter for me to... Oh, Go ahead. I think I know. Guess it then. The Curse of the Mummy. That is correct. Cur- I don't Good know. Good job. The whole thing out. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to get to the M's eventually. I was going S, R, S, T, L, and E, like all the basic Wheel of Fortune letters. Yeah. Well, the, the reason they do those is those are the most commonly used, except for the letter E, which you have yeah. to buy. But uh, yeah. All right. Um, That was for 10 vampire points. Who are you taking points from, Aaron? Um, from you. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> I lose ten. She gains ten. All right. Next question. These will be a bit quicker because t- Hangman takes a while. So I think we're the slowest part of the episode is done. Um, and let me just say the only time that has ever gone smoothly. <laughs> it's because there's only two of us doing it. <laughs> yeah. And you chose something that was relatively short, as they said. Well, and we were in the Halloween framework, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it helped. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question is a science question for ten sword points. Initially seen as a ghostly or spiritual light or candle over swamps and other bodies of water, this frightening sight is actually a natural phenomenon of chemical reactions from swamp gases. What are they, Jack? Um, Jack, do you what want do you like have? The, what is swamp gas? Because <laughs> you kind of crackled through the end of that question. No, no, no. I, I'm asking, uh, what is this chemical reaction of swamp gases that is commonly seen as a ghostly light or candle? Oh, Aaron. Aaron, what do you have? Send my call. Um, methane, which is also called marsh gas. I mean, it's not what I'm looking for, but... Okay, right. then then I, I got one. What you got, Jack? <laughs> um, you it's got? The resu- I have this. <laughs> so swamp gas is the result of a breakdown of fat, cellulose, proteins, and anaerobic <laughs> bacteria. Jack, <laughs> I, you're just going to lose 10 points because it's sore <laughs> points in your only target. I was looking for Will-O-The-Wisp. The will oh. of the wisp. Yeah. You wanted like the actual mythical uh, name, not yes. the real. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Let let me reread that and see if it makes more sense. Initially seen as a ghostly or spiritual light or a candle over swamps and other bodies of water, this frightening sight is actually a natural phenomenon of chemical reaction from swamp gases. What are they? Yeah. So you yeah. just pause just 
you just paused in the middle of that question, but you paused the first time at frightening. And so I didn't catch any of that. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I concede that I could have probably worded that a little <laughs> less vaguely. Um, Whatever, but I don't uh, think it was. I don't think it was totally unfair, though. All right. Next question yeah. is a history question for 10 normal points. Popularized by the Hollywood adaptations of their most frightening cases, Ed and Lorraine Warren's brushes with the supernatural are dramatized in what series of films? Um, Aaron? Aaron, what you got? Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> the Conjuring. The Conjuring yes. is correct. Okay. That is, yeah, that is correct. Those were that was the one I was thinking of too, but I couldn't couldn't remember what her name uh, was. Oh my gosh, I almost said, <laughs> I almost said The Shining. I was like, no, 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 stop, stop. Be like, stop. that's not a series of <laughs> no, movies. No, no, like, well, it's and, and it's a it's it's a history question. Well, and it's a history question, so that rules out something totally crazy, like saw you know like <laughs> right, right series of movies pirates of the caribbean <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> and then lorraine uh warren yeah, yeah. turner turner <laughs> <laughs> brother it's a hey. lost cousin <laughs> yeah <laughs> Bootstrap Bill does sound like a ghost, though. Let's let's be real. Truly, really? I mean, it's a perfect <laughs> ghost name. Yeah. Just like nearly, they have nearly. <laughs> you flying around Hogwarts for sure? Yeah. <laughs> How hall. can you be nearly headless like this? <laughs> nearly headless. Yeah. All right. Our next question is a culture question. For 10 bow points. What is considered to be the first horror film ever made? What <laughs> that search gave me nothing. Jack. Uh, Jack, what do you have? Uh, House of the Devil. That is correct. For 10 bow points, am I getting hit? Of course. So, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how many points Bern has. <laughs> it won't be long <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, what's worse uh, is I, I google first horror film and I get a list and it has Halloween know. Jeepers yeah. Creepers I'm like these aren't first like I the, even the, get Halloween ends not even like the first Halloween movie <laughs> oh goodness uh, that, you, you, what that is right there is buying up some algorithm space yeah it is because <laughs> uh that is yeah i googled first horror film and i get halloween and orphan and <laughs> it's not even close to the first even even the original halloween yeah. it's not it's even popular close to... yeah, yeah no. seriously yeah house of like the devil 100 says, years after it says 1896 <laughs> yeah <laughs> Why is that <laughs> not even the right century? All right. Nope. In fact, the, the 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 real answer is two centuries removed. Two centuries. <laughs> Goodness. Anyway, um, our next question is a history question for ten vampire points. Having something of a ghoulish visage, the goblin shark was discovered in what year? Aaron. Aaron, what do you have? That is correct. Uh, vampire I, points. I had to reread it because I'm like, it says first described, and I'm like, oh, am I going to read the wrong <laughs> print again? <laughs> <laughs> no, this time, this time it's actually right. So those are ten vampire points. I'm assuming it's coming from me, but uh, I, as a formality, have to ask. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We'll just go with yes. Thanks for asking. It's the polite thing to do <laughs> as you guys kill me. Slowly. <laughs> All right, our next That's question really is a... 
Next question is a science question. What is the scientific name for tarantulas for 10 normal points? Jack? Jack, what do you have? Theraphosidae? <laughs> yeah. Something like that? Day? I don't know how the last syllable is. Theraphosidae, yeah. Yeah. It's probably Latin. I probably should have known that. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I, every scientific name, name of an animal. Is is... <laughs> yeah. So um, anyway, our next culture question. Our next question is a culture question. Uh, fugu is considered a delicacy in Japan, but if it is not prepared correctly, the food itself could kill you. As Homer Simpson unfortunately learned in an episode of The Simpsons, what is fugu? For ten sword points, Aaron. Aaron, it's a it's like a type of pufferfish or blowfish. That is correct. For ten sword points, Jack is ruling says, it out. Sorry. Says it tastes a bit like chicken. <laughs> that's a that's a lot of work to get chicken? something that tastes something like chicken. <laughs> like I, I don't know. It's but like listen to this description. I have what does fugu taste like? It says some claim that fugu tastes a bit like chicken. But diehard, no pun intended, fans <laughs> of the unique fish will argue it has a distinct flavor and texture. Look, that's a that's a lot of work for, <laughs> for you have to be a diehard texture yeah. fan to 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 appreciate the fact that it's slightly different from chicken. <laughs> the fish more poisonous than cyanide. Yeah, like I think it was what is it, ten times more potent than potent than cyanide? It's a, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Like, gosh, that's one, the one smallest wrong mistake in its preparation could be fatal. Yes, yeah. more than sixty percent of all food goo poisonings will end in death. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like you yeah. know, I like sushi, but maybe not food goo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it just tastes like chicken. The um, Simpsons episode I referenced I is incredible. Like. You guys should watch that Simpsons yeah. episode. It's pretty it's pretty <laughs> great. Our next question is a random category question for 10 bow points. We are going to play Demon Spelling Bee. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. oh, man. Well, at least have, Aaron has to go first because she's winning. In the spirit of Halloween, I have the names of several demons and or classifications of demons. Uh for uh perfect for our spelling bee so uh aaron start us off with beelzebub i knew that okay. was gonna be first <laughs> which is really okay. re really yeah. appropriate just, yeah yeah perfect <laughs> too perfect um okay <laughs> b e e z L E B U B. You were this close. Yep. I think you this missed close. one L. The the L and Z are swapped. Yep. It's B E E L Z E B U B. So uh, close. So close. So uh, close. Just let her swap. All right, Jack. Oh great. Give Reykjavik. us Reykjavik. Give us <laughs> give us Godar. Godar? Godar. <laughs> It's like, can I ask normal spelling bee questions in this? Um, <laughs> can you use it in a sentence? Uh, Gadar is a demon. Yeah, please, <laughs> please spell the demon Gadar. <laughs> I mean, it it sounds really simple, but <laughs> I know it's not. But we'll just go with G O D A R. Godar. No. It <laughs> is there's probably an H in there, isn't there? G H A D D A R. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I had I had prepared a few <laughs> others in case uh there were oh, more God. players. What are they? Uh, uh Focalar. Focalar? Yeah, which sounds terrible now that I'm saying it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> F O L L A C I A R. F O C A L A R. 
Then there's Pazuzu. Mm. Who? Pazuzu. Kazuzu? Pazuzu. I've heard of that one. Pazuzu, not Kazuzu. <laughs> Banjo Pazuzu. It's a really dark sequel to Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Banjo's just possessed instead of having a bird companion. <laughs> uh, I also have uh, Succubus. Mm. Mm-hmm. Which has got two C's. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and then the... Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then there's Moloch. So those were have been the uh, the others. Beelzebub was was just too perfect given the Freddie Mercury thing. Honestly. I know. It was. <laughs> How did that even mm-hmm. happen? All right, our next question. Oh, that was 10 bow points and I got them, so and Jack. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. You'll be dead in a few questions. Yeah, that's true. And <laughs> In, in addition to that being true, let's see. Yeah, I could be dead a few questions before the episode's over. Our next question, a culture question for 10 normal points. Surpassing even boxing and football, what sport causes the most injuries? I can't spell. Spelling bees. <laughs> You've got me all messed up. No. Yeah. Uh, Aaron? That Aaron, what do you have? Basketball? Basketball is correct. Kind of makes sense. It's a high contact sport with no pads on a hard yeah. court. So how are you measuring the injuries? Is it like by percentage? It's, it's. I think or... it's per year, per year. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, by percentage, yeah. like combat yeah, that's sports what it looks would like. be. Yeah. yeah, just yeah. Five percent teams typically have way less players on the team as well than a football team does. If you're going by percentages, yeah, yeah. But also, football players are covered head to toe in pads and helmets. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. so even though they're yeah, like they're, they're doing much worse, harder, like, but they're prepared for it. Whereas, like, you hit a court with your your knee yeah. and your gym yeah. shorts. Yeah, I've seen bones poke out in basketball. Like, it's not yeah. pretty. <laughs> yeah, you're on a stretcher. Yeah, <laughs> pretty easily. All right, our next question is a random category question. Uh, it's time. You know it. You hate it. We are going to play Pictionary. All right, let's clear. All right, let's see. Red Sea. Vampires. Blade. Blade Runner. The tiniest drawing Uh, I can make on this. Werewolf. Yes, werewolf is correct. (laughs) Werewolf is correct. (laughs) Wendigo. I can't even remember what points that was for, but... (laughs) <laughs> Let me check. Uh, let's see. That was werewolf. Ten vampire points. I'm slowly dying again, I assume. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just one more. One more and I'm dead. And, Just uh, one more. Let's see. I No, you can't get at this next question because it's for ten normal points. A history question. Uh, th- I was thinking of scary things to ask of history, and this is one of them. On January 23rd, 1556. You have plenty to choose from. <laughs> that's true. On January 23rd, 1556, the deadliest day in history claimed about 80, you know, 830,000 people. What happened? Um, Aaron. What you got? There was an earthquake in Shanxi, China. Yep, that is correct. That is that is a staggering magnitude goal. eight. That's crazy. Wow. That is, to I even could, consider. Wow. That is 
830,000? You see, and I was thinking maybe it would be like a particularly bad day in World War II, or maybe, you know, the atomic bombs, you know, but holy crap, that is a heck yeah. of an earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> in 1556, too, it's like, the population density wasn't as bad. Yeah, that's what I'm I saying. Know. It had to have been yeah. so widespread. <laughs> like... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's like, it, yeah, in 1556, it's like oh, half the population geez. of that China. Was, that was more than half of the residents. I know. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. Uh, I I was curious, and uh, the answer was way more than I expected. I, I would have. Yeah. I would have topped out maybe at 500,000 after a really bad one. But uh, approaching a million, yes. Yeah, Shows a, a map of like the shot. I know, wave. yeah, I just it, saw that. The map <laughs> literally covers all of China. That's... Like to where they felt up to magnitude two earthquakes like thousands of miles away from the epicenter. <laughs> so yeah. Let this be a cautionary tale. Even though we humans have gotten very good at killing each other, nature can still can still win on a dare. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> yeah, um, on a whim. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. With that humbling and terrifying truth out of the way, our next question is a science question for ten bow points. Vampire bats drink about how much blood each night? Jack. Jack, what do you have? Two tablespoons or Yeah, it's or, not as much as you would think. Yeah, or <laughs> they twenty grams. <laughs> People have you been know. arrested over more. Grams. <laughs> so I'm, yeah, I'm assuming twenty I'm... grams. That's like that's like three that's like three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I assume I'm dead now. Yes, so. most definitely. Yeah. Yay! I didn't know two <laughs> tablespoons of blood weighed twenty grams. That seems pretty, like a lot. Pretty thick. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So you heard it here first, folks. Blood is thicker than marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our next question is a history question for ten sword points. The longest one-day decline in stock market history occurred on October 19th, 1987, and is known as what? The largest one-day... Jack, what do you have? Black Monday? Black Monday is mm. correct. That makes sense. That is a different kind of scary thing that happened in history. Yeah. I still can't get past that we had a marijuana joke and didn't have Omar here. I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if I do have that as a title, someone's going to be disappointed to find but that Omar's Omar. going to be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the girl marijuana or water? It sounds like a moon question in the making. <laughs> All right, darn. What would that be? Like, how many of the world's largest drug busts would it take to reach the moon or something? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how many? I'll have, to, I'll have to workshop it. Of, oh, God, what is his name? How many of, yeah, how many of Escobar's warehouses would it take oh, to weigh the God. same as the moon? <laughs> <laughs> to weigh the same as the moon. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Our next question is, uh, Science question for 10 normal points. How large must an asteroid be to wipe out all life on Earth? So that's that's all life, not just human life. Jack. Jack, what do you have? 60 miles wide. Yep, that is the imperial mm -hmm. measurement for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, for every other country, 96 kilometers. <laughs> Yes. Literally, <laughs> every other country. So I'm just imagining, like the news broadcast. It's like a, a 96 kilometer mile wide asteroid is hurling towards Earth, and the Americans are just blank. No, to do there's, the there's so many of those things I've seen. It's like 
There's one and, I saw it was like, why do Americans measure things with random objects? And like the t- title of the news article was <laughs> Pothole the Size of Five <laughs> Dishwashers opens up in the middle of the highway. <laughs> <laughs> so so and then and then the same newscast like when there's no response I'm just be like that's about 60 miles wide and then they'd start panicking <laughs> so, oh, no, that's a very big <laughs> asteroid ah. 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 <laughs> all right our second to last question tonight a culture question for 10 vampire points the Reaper in Resident Evil 5 is the result of the Uroboros virus infecting what insect? Of what insects? Mm-hmm. Aaron. Aaron, what do you have? Cockroaches. Yes, they are terrifying. Like, come on, like, Google? It was an easy search. Reaper in Resident Evil 5 is result of what insect virus? Come on. You're not going to give me a good search on that. <laughs> That th- those things are uh they can kill you in one hit so <laughs> mm-hmm. all right last uh last question for tonight is for 10 vampire points we are going to play the elimination game so hands up no google uh jack start us off actually with i'm out so there's only one category you could just uh, play anyway. Sure. It's the last question. Yeah, Aaron's going to win anyway. Yeah, so right, we'll, we'll do common Halloween monsters. Go. Werewolf. Ghost. Dracula. Jack. Frankenstein. Uh, 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 I blanked. <laughs> I'm thinking of it in my head, but uh, yeah, A I'm witch. not. I no, was going I, witch next. Witch is good. I was thinking like swamp thing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Swamp monster. Creature Sasquatch. from the Black Lagoon, you know. And anything that's a, just <laughs> yeah. a swamp monster, but I just blanked. Okay. Uh, Aaron, start us off with zombie movies. Um. Oh, Night of the Living Dead. Jack. Resident Evil. <laughs> The first one. <laughs> <laughs> Listing them up like more. Aaron, what, what was yours? I'm sorry. Resident Evil equal to. And I'll go with Resident Evil Raccoon City. <laughs> Aaron. Zombieland. Oh, good, good. Jack. There's. Resident Evil Afterlife. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start looking up Resident Evil films to fact check Jack here. <laughs> uh, uh, World War Z. Good. What's the other one? Oh my god. And you're there's out. another Resident Evil movie, but there's, I don't know. There's like five <laughs> more. <laughs> but Aaron wins. <laughs> I uh, know. I, not just the question, but the night. <laughs> that was fun, guys. Nice yeah. uh, Halloween themed rock with show with <laughs> both you. your typical uh, rando fears and also uh, way, way more real ones like stock market crashes and earthquakes that yeah. kill half of China. That being said, mm-hmm. thanks, guys. <laughs> Let's yeah, hope we real. leave with good vibes and not those. Have a good night. And a happy Halloween. Woo! (laughs) We are the champions.